Don't you love it when an irrelevant band and an irrelevant music magazine, who have both seen their better days decades ago, uh, come together to give us this glorious piece of retardation? And I'm of course talking about Green Day and uh, an article from the NME, where they talk about how violent video games, MMA and Donald Trump are making the world a more violent place because children are apparently going to get scarred by all this violence that the three of them are apparently either going to contribute in the future or are currently contributing to now. So, let's get stuck into this. Green Day say they're worried about violent video games. Trio also concerned about MMA being shown on TV. Because nothing says more than old, washed up and out of touch than complaining about things that you wouldn't complain about if you had any brains but also were in touch with reality. Green Day have said they're worried about video games becoming increasingly violent. Uh, they're no more violent than they were years ago. The only difference is the realistic depiction has become more realistic. The violence itself hasn't really changed. I mean, uh, Mortal Kombat back in the day is as violent now as it is now. The difference is they can show it in a more realistic manner, but Never mind. Uh, the trio who released a new album, Revolution Radio, on October 7th. Now I have a little bone to pick with the enemy here. It's a British magazine, yet it's using an American uh, dating system. Come on, people. Most of your audience aren't American, they're British. So come on, enemy, please, stop using these Americanisms. Uh, have said they're worried about the world becoming so violent that it's going to scare their children. Because, yeah, uh, violent video games, which has never been proven to cause violence, and MMA, which has never been proven to cause violence, unless someone's in the ring, who are consenting to a sport has ever been proven to cause violence will cause violence and scar the children well somebody please think of the children think of their children think of their protected children who live in the posh neighborhoods and will have to think about you know getting robbed at gunpoint or something bassist mike dern told kerrang my kids are going to grow up seeing things that i never saw like mixed martial arts when that first came out people were oh fuck, that's fucking violent well no shit, it's martial arts you know what else is a martial art? Boxing, karate, kung fu, taekwondo, Thai kickboxing. The difference is, mixed martial arts incorporates everything. So you get all the martial arts. And martial arts are violent. People hit each other, people hurt each other. For fun, what are you expecting? That's actual violence, but it's not going out there causing real violence. People aren't going out there going, oh, I'm going to MMA roundhouse kick this cunt because I feel like it. I'm not seeing that yet. And now they play it on TV, in restaurants. I'm supposed to eat and watch this shit wherever I go. Nothing makes me hungrier than watching two guys in weenie bikinis kicking the shit out of each other. Ah, so you're trying to make it out like it's some kind of homosexual thing? That's kind of homophobic if you think about it. Also, you don't have to watch it when you're in the restaurant. Nobody has to cater to your fee-fees, don't. You could go and sit in the corner and mope while everyone else is having fun. You don't have to watch it. Or you can go to another restaurant that doesn't have a TV. There are restaurants like that. Stop being a cunt. Dern added video games are different now too. You're actually in there shooting and killing people. And that's got to take a toll. But I don't have the solutions. You don't have the brains to either one, think of solutions or to even know what video games are actually like. We are not at that point technologically where the holodeck has been invented. This isn't Star Trek, Dern. I know you may think that the Oculus Rift is like something like that. It couldn't be further from the truth. All it is is some glorified IMAX thing close to your face. You've still got the controller. You've still got your keyboard and mouse. There's still that uh, monitor that's separating you from the action. And they're not real people. These are pixels. These are 3D or 2D, which has made a comeback, uh, graphics. These are not real people. And people know this. There is no evidence that it takes a toll on you. If anything, you become less violent. But more about that later. Uh, singer Billy Joe Armstrong revealed he believes Donald Trump is even more dangerous than George W. Bush, whose time as president helped to inspire their American Idiot album. Armstrong said, Bush was an idiot, but Trump is absolutely crazy. That guy won't listen to people when he makes decisions. He can see it already. He just says whatever he thinks right that second. Then added, it's self-serving rhetoric and it's scary. Yes, it's self-serving but he's not in a position to make the world a worse place, is he? Uh, George W. Bush actually made the world a more violent place by starting the, the war against terror, even if it was a reaction against uh, Al-Qaeda bombing New York. But he went after the wrong targets, didn't he? And now look where we are. But hey, you can debate that. The point is, they're wrong. They're wrong about video games and they're wrong about MMAs. And then it talks about how they yet to announce any live shows, blah, 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 blah. And it's interesting that they say that 
video games has got to take a toll, just has to, because I think so. Well, if you look at this, if you look at this graph here, uh, this graph shows that violence has actually been decreasing since the 90s, and what's become more popular since the 90s? Video games. MMA. Now, I know correlation does not equal causation, people. Violence is decreasing, video games become more popular, MMA have become more popular, video games have become more realistic in the depictions of violence. They've not actually changed that much, yet people are committing less violent crime. That says something, and I also find it ironic that the band that sang about not wanting to be American idiots have become American idiots. But not just American idiots, but old, washed up, out of touch American idiots. And that's the end of the video, people. This has been Charming Man 93. Like and share the video. And if you love my channel, please subscribe to it and also donate to the Patreon if you have the means to do so. Any little helps. I have a target of $100 a month at the moment, which will allow me to buy bigger and better equipment to help the channel. And also, if you want to do requests, please donate $10 or higher if you would like to do that. Uh, the videos, of course, have to be things that I can actually respond to and have knowledge of. So keep that in mind. Until next time, sayonara bitches.